Hi, it's Sarah Maxwell of Designs by Sarah J. I recently got a Janome Continental M8 Professional, and I'm so excited to explore all of its features. So I'm going to be making a series of simple projects over the year just to try out some of the different stitches and features of the machine. To start, I'm going to make a fabric basket. It's almost spring cleaning time and I'm ready to get my sewing room organized and cute. So these decorative baskets are perfect for stashing the items that you use all the time, but don't just want laying around in clutter on your sewing table or your desk. So gather supplies to start. You're going to need three quarters yard each of two different fabrics. I chose to get um, some periwinkle and purple fabrics that I really like the colors of that I want to use to set the tone in my room. But anything goes if you have scraps on hand or if you want to make a trip to your local store. Because the thread will show, we'll be doing some top stitching and decorative stitching, get some thread that coordinates or contrasts with the fabrics. I went with this nice periwinkle shade that blends with both. And then you're going to need three quarters yard each, so one and a half yards total of fusible fleece. We'll be fusing this to both the interior and exterior of the basket to give it some stability so the edges will stand up. So go gather your supplies and then we'll come back and start cutting. Also, make sure to clean your machine and load a new needle. We want to make sure since we have uh, lots of layers with the fusible fleece that we have a fresh needle in. Gather everything up and then come back so we can start cutting fabrics. I've used a long rotary ruler in my rotary cutter to cut four rectangles from the outer fabric and the lining fabric, two from each fabric. The rectangles are 22 inches by 18 inches. So I've got my basket fabric cut and then I need to cut rectangles from the fusible fleece now these are one inch smaller in each dimension so that they do not add bulk to the seams. So we're going to cut two rectangles from the fusible fleece that are 21 inches by 17 inches. We'll fuse this together and then we'll get started stitching. get our fabric basket to sit upright, we need to have a flat bottom. And my favorite way of doing that is to box the corners. And my favorite method for boxing the corner is to cut out a square from both sides of the long side, the 22 inch side of your rectangle, so that when you go to assemble this, it will perfectly fold in and create a flat bottom. And so for this size of basket, I'm going to cut out a five and a quarter inch square on this side using my rotary cutter and ruler. And I've got that square out. And I'm gonna repeat over on the other side of the fabric, same thing. And so again, this is along the long edge. So I'm gonna cut five and a quarter here. And then I'm going to do the same thing with all four pieces of fabric and all four pieces of fusible fleece. And once I have this done, then I can fuse the fleece to the background and then I'll be ready to sew. I'm ready to start sewing on my Continental M8. I've turned the machine on. I've selected stitch number one with the 2.4 stitch length. I have a new needle in. And the first thing that I'm going to do is sew that long edge of the fabric here. Um, I'm going to use a 3 8 inch seam, so the side of the presser foot, and my fabrics are right sides together, so I'm going to just be sewing along here, and then we'll move on to the next step. I want to show you here how I do the box corner and I'm working on the end that I left open for turning the box. Um, so I just sewed a short run of stitches and stabilized at the end so I can turn that inside out without everything coming apart. I'm going to pick up here on this open corner and I'm just going to pull that apart. And you can see that sometimes the fleece comes loose a little bit. That's fine. I can hit that with heat again and it will um, refuse. It just gets a little loose as you're handling it. 
you don't want to use too much heat usually with fusible fleece um, because it can melt so always be careful with that i've dropped a straight pin through and matched up my seam and now i'm going to take a fork pin which is a pin that just has two pointy edges uh, kind of like a tine of a fork and put that on either side of my stabilizing pin to make sure that that stays where I want it. And now I'm going to come through and I'm just going to put a few pins in to keep this nice and aligned. And then I'll sew this with a half inch seam to create my flat corner of the box. And I usually do um, a lock stitch at the beginning and the end because I want this to be really secure. So I like to pin a lot just to make sure everything stays in place. I'll do this to all four corners and then I'll take this to the machine and sew it. I've turned the box inside out and so now I need to secure that opening that I had left so I could turn it. So I'm just gonna do a simple stitch here along the edge because this will be on the inside of the box in the bottom. Thank <laughs> you. 